Earthlings. So this video is going to tell you how to play this game. These are called Playground Stories and they're by Koala Go. It's an online virtual classroom that I use for tutoring. And it's awesome because we can create our own playgrounds like this and then put in questions for the students to solve and you'll see the amazing things that it does when they do that. So it's really exciting for them because it's not just a game it is something where they are also learning and where we teachers can find out um, what they know and what they need help with so it's first going to take you to this little alien who gives you some information about this game and then as you see when i put the little sticky notes into the boxes it opened the gate for me so i don't want to give all the answers away <laughs> But for your child or students to play this, um, down at the bottom, whether they play on their phone or on the computer, they're going to have little icons down at the bottom. So the first one, the pencil on the left, is the draw tool. It brings this up on the left side. They can change the color and they can write with this. So for example, I've put in chalkboards they can use to try to solve these problems, to write them out. And so they would just write on the chalkboard like this. And it has a little eraser, of course, so they can erase as well. And so that's what you would use the draw tool for. Next is the eye tool, which is the, t so right now we're in first person view. And if you click on this, it would give you the top down view so you could see the entire playground at once. So this is what the whole playground looks like and I love it so pretty <laughs> and if they want to go back to first person view they just click on that eye again uh, this one in the middle is to customize their avatar so they can actually choose what they want their avatar to look like and so that's always really fun for the kids they love to do that <laughs> so we've got lots of options there this one with the a sticky note and a lot of items in a box um, this one is for different things that usually they will do in the playgrounds where they can free build. So this is not a playground where you can put blocks in and just free build. But in the free build playgrounds, we have lots of blocks that they can choose from to build anything that they want. And we also have um, sticky notes that can be used. So they can actually use sticky notes in this playground if they wanted to. The image library is to import images like I did of the little aliens. They can't do that in this playground. The story tools are what makes the gate open and things like that. So we have reaction props like these um, that open and in this playground have prizes in them and action zones. So again, some of the free build playgrounds that are on my um, in my game portal they would be allowed to use this but not in these that already have the questions in them and then this home and decor is where they can use gems to um, buy items to put in their playgrounds and the gems are something that i believe you get 200 gems if you sign up for playground stories so most of my playground stories right now are free i'll have a lot more in there later um, some of them will be ones that you have to subscribe to get access to. And so um, in those they can do all these little cute things that they can buy with gems. So the last thing down here, this shovel is to delete blocks, objects, or stickies, which again they can't do in this playground, but in their free build playgrounds they can. And this circle at the top is so that for them to jump. So there's a couple ways you can do it. If you're on a computer, you can actually use the space bar to jump and the arrow keys to move forward, back, left, and right. If you're on a phone, it has two dots at the bottom, two circles at the bottom. Your kids will probably know how to use them <laughs> since they usually know how to do computer things a lot more easily than we adults do. Um, but they are to, one of them is to look up and down and the other one is to steer your avatar through there and then it has the little jump button as well on there. So that's just kind of an overview of the tools. So let me just show you when they 
put the right answer in here, it will open the gate, and then when they put all the right answers in here, this chest will open and has a fun little prize in it that I don't want to tell you what it is right now because I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> but each place that they go, there's a little cute alien, a different one, um, telling you something about the prize you're going to get. And then let me just show you real quick here. So this playground has over 80 gem items in it, including this giant rocket. And this is fun because at the top we've got the aliens having a little party. They can actually jump up this long slide um, to get to that party. It's a little tricky. They have to keep jumping, but you can get up there. And then if I can just show you a little bit of the inside, I wanted to show you the inside of the rocket here, but it's not really at the right angle. So anyway, they can go in. There's two more stories in the rocket that they go in and have challenges that open things. And we have um, the ending. They get to this little shuttle here, but it's got a lot of um, activities along the way. So it's a really fun playground. This one is for second to third grade. They may need a little bit of help if they're just going into second grade um, to answer those questions. And I'm going to make another one for each of the other grades as well. So those will be coming out soon. So I hope you have fun playing it. And if you have any questions, just, just text me, send me a private message. Thanks guys.